My name is Greg Younger. I'm the theater manager up at the Circle Cinema, and today we're going to be taking you here to uh, Moonski's Cheese Steaks and Donuts. Uh, I lost 40 pounds eating here once a week. I have, you know, it's my minor heart attack doing it, but you know, I lost, I lost 40 pounds easily. So. Uh, I'm gonna have your just a standard cheesesteak, just uh, cheese, uh, meat, uh, mayo, and bread, okay. and uh, crispy like I like it. The thing that makes the cheesesteak great here is the bread, the crispy bread. I don't know if it's a cheesesteak joint or a donut shop, but they've kind of combined the two. Well, it is a donut shop. It's more of a donut shop, right? I mean, if you look at it, it's, uh, you'd say, well, there's donuts in there. It says, it says donuts. There's donuts in the counter, but. Uh, Unbeknownst to everyone, boom, they make cheesesteaks out of the bag. So, you know, what are you gonna do? I'm not sure which one is Moonski. Um, I just call them all Moonski when I'm here. It's very much a no frills sort of shop here. Yeah, it's located uh, at the intersection of uh, Lewis and Pine and uh, easy to find. You can get your laundry done next door if you need as well while you're here. You know, I've been to Pat's, I've been to uh, Gino's, the historic cheesesteak places in, uh, in Philadelphia. And it's completely different from the Philadelphia style cheesesteak, but uh, once you have this, I, trust me, I think they're better. I know they're better. This is, uh, this is waxed up with 100% uh, Moonski's grill grease. That's how you do that. No, the mustache, you know, I often say that uh, I didn't grow the mustache, the mustache grew me. There's soap operas on the back, back there. You're basically eating in the back room of a donut shop. Unlike this bow tie, there's no pretensions down here at Moonski. I guess that's part of the appeal here. Oh yeah. Oh man. All right, perfection. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You see that? See that on the top right there? You gotta kinda check it for firmness. Here's the key. I like to use a cross pin. It's not necessary, but I found if you use a wooden pencil or a more plastic pin, it can give you some false positives. Oh, you hear that? That means the bread's been done just right. Crispy right there. It's kind of like checking a watermelon. That's a good cheese stick right there, boys. So good, it's as crispy as it needs to be. It's perfect. It's perfection. Listen, I'm telling you, this is the best cheese steak in town. Hey, look what the cat dragged in. Uh, this is uh, this is my brother Kyle Younger, and uh, he just happened to he just happened to be driving by. He's from uh, Engine 16, and apparently uh, you all eat over here all the time. Is that right? We do great food. Great food. Yeah. Great food. Yeah. Uh, and as many of you may know, uh, Kyle was featured recently on Man vs. Food Nation that uh, aired nationwide. Uh, no, we, we really didn't plan this. I think probably your spidey senses went off that there was a film crew inside of a restaurant. Now, uh, what are you gonna, what are you gonna eat? You're gonna eat the Cajun chicken? Cajun chicken, shrimp. Oh, oh, I'm gonna try one too? Okay, let me... You gotta test it out? Let me test it, yeah. Come on. Up. I'm looking for like a high E flat. Now it's a little noisy in here today, but if you take your cheesesteak uh, into an anechoic chamber where there's no noise, it'll usually resonate at, about, at a high E flat. That's usually where it's gonna be the best. High E flat, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. This is why we come. Mm -hmm. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna give her a go. This will be a first for me. Mm. I like spicy. It's pretty hot. <laughs> What do you think? That's good. If you really want to find out what the, the bona fide Tulsa flair culinary wise is going on in town, you search out places like this. It's not been overrun by your big box stores. Rent hasn't gone through the roof. Some of these smaller eateries still have a chance to survive over here. They're peppered all throughout North Tulsa and all you have to do is just get out and really look for them. People from all walks of life, all, uh, all social strata, uh, cheesesteaks are the unifying bond that holds all Tulsans together. We all know that. It's a well-known fact. Have you ever tried combining a bite of donut and cheese steak? That'll be at the fair next year, the Tulsa State Fair. Yeah, it's true. 
I may be giving them an idea here. All right, I'll try it. I may go back in time, but I'll try it. Mmm. It's delicious. That's actually pretty good. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna have another bite. 